hi my dear viewers and uh, uh, students uh, today we are going to explain about the c++ programming most important questions for second uh, second semester bca students especially okay uh, we will definitely get the 100 percent uh, these questions very helpful to get the not only pass marks very good marks in public examination okay please uh, subscribe and like and share my channel murti technologies channel is it very it, this channel very useful to get good marks in computer science subjects especially okay here what are the important questions in c++ especially bca second semester okay we will explain each and every points clearly okay here uh, there is c++ pro there are five units are available actually in the first unit very very important question object oriented programming concepts object oriented programming concepts so what are the object oriented programming concepts class object inheritance polymorphism what are types of polymorphism types of inheritances okay abstraction encapsulation these are the topics we will discuss in the oops concepts in public examination explain about oops concepts very 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 important question especially in 2019 2018 and there are three years repeated question especially in our university okay object one programming concepts those are class object inheritance polymorphism data abstraction etc we will explain here next one is very important function overloading you know function overloading is nothing but function overloading is nothing but a more than one function more than one function with same name with different parameters is called a function overloading it's a very very important question sometimes in five marks and regularly in 10 marks also okay number of functions having the same name within the class within the one class more than one function with same name with different parameters is called a function overloading and next one is a call by value call by reference it is a call by value call by reference is concept covered in the c, c language also okay we will call we will call the function by passing value we will call the function by address also we will call the function by reference in c++ there are three types of call by parameter mechanism call by value call by address and call by reference these are the t three important questions definitely first two questions very very important for public examination you will definitely get the 10 marks okay yet second or second unit is a very important question that is called static data members and static functions static data members and static functions the purpose of static data members once create the static variable it will be available for number of objects okay once create the static variable it creates only one memory with memory location is shared to all the objects static functions with the help of static functions we will access the particular function without the object directly access the static function with the help of class name okay next one is called types of constructors very very important constructors and destructors you know constructors is nothing but a is a special functions those functions are same name with class name constructors are called a special function they are those names are same name with class name the class name functions are called constructors okay the constructors are used to initialize the objects destructors is nothing but a destroy the objects once it has utilized destroy the objects the constructors uh, will accept the parameters but constructors won't return any data type constructor there are different types of constructors are available constructor uh, there are different types the parameter constructors default constructor and copy constructor here next one we are passing objects to argument the function sometimes we are passing not only values to the function we are passing objects to the function it is also available but in second unit very very famous two questions are available that is called static data members and static function second question is trunk construct and what are the types of constructors it's very important in third unit what we are discussing in third unit it is a third unit actually is very very important there overloading okay operator overloading is not only overloading operator overloading there are two types of operator overloading available unit operator and binary operators unit operators is nothing but a plus unit operator is nothing but plus plus minus minus binary operator is nothing but a single plus okay the operator overloading the purpose of operator overloading we with the help of operator overloading concept in c++ we can add more than one object also we can subtract the objects with the help of operator overloading okay here next one what are the types of inheritance it's very very important public examination what is the meaning of types of inheritance inheritance is nothing but a 
क्रिएट चाइल्ड क्लास विद द हेल्प ऑफ पेरेंट क्लास इज क्रिएट ए चाइल्ड क्लास विद द हेल्प ऑफ पेरेंट क्लास विद दिस इज द कॉन्सेप्ट वेरी यूजफुल फॉर रीयूजबिलिटी फेसिलिटी वंस क्रिएट सॉफ्टवेयर दैट सॉफ्टवेयर शुड बी यूज टू क्रिएट अनदर अपडेशन मॉडिफिकेशन सॉफ्टवेयर सो वंस क्रिएट दि विंडो सेवन फॉर एक्सापल वी विल प्रो वी विल मॉडिफे दि विंडो सेवन टू विंडोज एट ओके रीयूजबिलिटी इज नथिंग बट रीयूज दि प्रीवियस कोड टू क्रिएट न्यू कोड इनहेटेंस इज नथिंग बट क्रिएट ए चाइल्ड क्लास विद द हेल्प ऑफ पेरेंट क्लास देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेटेंसेस अवेलेबल देर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ इनहेटेंस सिंगल इनहेटेंस multiple inheritance multi level inheritance hierarchical inheritance hybrid inheritance these are the different types available next the both two questions are very very important there are three years repeated regularly in an university next one multiple inheritance virtual base classes okay here like multiple inheritance is directly we are not directly achieve in actually java but in c++ with the help of virtual virtual classes virtual base class we can implement multiple inheritance multiple inheritance nothing but one child class having more than one parent is called a multiple inheritance it's very important three questions in third unit in next one fourth question you know fourth unit is fourth unit it is called a dynamic polymorphism very very important virtual function dynamic polymorphism you know dynamic polymorphism what is the purpose of dynamic polymorphism virtual functions virtual functions you know sometimes in the uh, one class having more than one function then we are not creating we are providing the virtual keyword those functions should not be override okay pure virtual functions is nothing but a the some functions are assigned with equal to zero function declaration equal to zero that is called a pure virtual functions once the virtual function is defined those functions should be derived in the sub classes okay here next one templates very very important class and function templates you know class and function templates is nothing but you know sandy we will provide some for example it's a program sum of two numbers sum of integers sum of floats for example sum of characters in that situation sum of doubles we will create different functions integer sum float sum double sum the three functions must be in different names in c language but in function templates create only one function that function create accept any type of data type one function for example it is a sum function accept integers same function accept characters same function accept double this is called generic programming is very important for function templates next one fifth unit is a very important file operations you know file opening file closing file operations you know what is the purpose of files the files concept available in c language also we can store our input and output data permanently in a secondary device store data permanently in a device or disk or cd dvd pen drive with the help of files concept you know exception handling in exception handling is nothing but you know exceptions are called a runtime errors once the any number division with zero file is not found the file missing sometimes it will create a runtime errors those runtime errors are called exception handling the exception handling techniques using try and catch try and catch statements we will simply handle the exceptions next one it is sometimes they are asking the store to store student data in a hard disk file student roll number name marks etc permanently in a hard disk with the help of files okay these are the very important questions in public examination next one we will explain about the five marks questions especially in university bca second semester syllabus you know applications and object benefits of oops what is the purpose of oops what is oops class object inheritance where we are using object one program concept we in real time any type of or uh, any type of software we must use object one programming concept okay next one input and output statement in c++ input statement is nothing but c in c in console input c out c out is nothing but console output c out is nothing but output function c in is nothing but input function you know what is the purpose of structure of c++ how to write the c pro c++ program next you know next one friend function friend function is very important friend function to access the private data with the help of friend function in c++ inline functions you know inline functions is nothing but it is very fast execution program you can create the inline function once the actually the once the constructor transfer from main function to user function it will say take more time but using inline functions 
where we are create inline function similarly the code should be replaced with the main function so inline functions execute very fast and destructors destructors means after complete the execution of objects destroy and free the memory access qualifiers in access qualifiers in anything but private public protected those are called access specifiers to access the variables in the class okay you know nested try state try statement with the, with the help of exception handling we can handle exception handling with the help of try and statements we can create more than one try statements with the help of nested try statement file streams you know file stream is nothing but how to open stream file how to create file etc okay next one uh, is not important actually open close files in c++ how to open a uh, file how to close file these are the most important questions in public examination especially c++ you know we will write this some sometimes they are asking about programs also how to create string palin string palindrome with the help of c++ program sorting the given numbers ascending order or descending order you know these are the important papers in public examination in nakhnana university a 2019 public paper 2019 public paper so what are the questions they asked so five marks question input output static and friend function template etc in 10 marks very important loops concept function overloading is operator overloading inheritance etc you know 2018 paper also we will provide 2018 paper in 18 paper what are the advantages applications of loops destructors friend function 10 marks question loops static operator overloading class templates etc these are the same questions repeated each and every year okay so uh, better to prepare each and every one is most important question for public examination okay all the best um, please share and like my channel multi technologies to easy to get pass marks in public examination thank you